John Gambling Indeed, 14 minutes now before 7 o'clock. Happy Monday to you. It is Veterans Day. There will be a parade. Uh, at 9 o'clock this morning, there is going to be a press release released announcing my retirement from WOR, uh, something that uh, I decided to do back on October 1st, and I was asked to keep it quiet till till today. Uh, and uh, it is a decision, obviously, that has um, great uh, effects on a lot of people. And uh, I understand that, but uh, it, it you know I've been doing this for professionally for 40 years, and I've been doing New York radio for 35, and I've been doing morning radio for 27 years uh, here at WOR. 27 glorious years, 35 absolutely fantastic uh, years of broadcasting uh, in in the biggest market in uh, America is um, is um, an opportunity that few ever have. And uh, it has been one that I have cherished, I have enjoyed immensely, uh, continue to enjoy when, I, when I'm doing it, but it's just a, a lifestyle that uh, has tired me out. And um, as I think I've said to you before, I get, I get so um, uncomfortable with going to bed at 7 o'clock at night and leaving my wife all alone. I, I jokingly say that I suspect she has an entire different family somewhere because I would I would have absolutely no way of of knowing and getting up at two o'clock in the morning and uh, and doing all of the things that are necessary uh, to make this program as successful as it is and uh, I've accomplished uh, all of the goals I set for myself uh, long ago and far away and you never you never think that this day announcing your retirement is ever going to come. I mean, it's not, it's not something you put on the resume that uh, the last day, by the way, will be December 20th, Friday, December 20th. You don't put that day on your resume or on your timeline or, you know, you don't, you don't even stick it in your back of your head somewhere. It just happens. And uh, it, it has happened now. The decision-making process was one that was uh, long in coming. Um, you have to, there's so many things to think about. I've been asked by some people here at WOR if, you know, if it has to do with this specifically or that specifically. And the answer to that is it has to do with everything. I mean, there's, there's so many things involved here that um, it was a decision I didn't come to uh, quickly uh, or easily. But I am thrilled with the decision. I am absolutely uh, ecstatic about the idea of um, spending the, the winter in Florida. Uh, and just sort of using that time uh, to kind of see, you know, when, when and if there's any more or maybe not or what I want to do or what I find interesting. And there's so many options, you know. There's so many different ways to go uh, for, for me with my experience and also, uh, you know, some notoriety. Not, I'm not sure that uh, the, the name John Gambling or the success in New York City radio uh, translates to other parts of the country, but it's not like I'm anonymous. Uh, so I'm just going to see what's going on. Um, so uh, I, I decided this, by the way, is completely my decision. The company had no, nothing to do with it. In fact, they were surprised when I told them on October 1st. And Wendy and I, my wife Wendy and I, had obviously talked about this uh, on and off for a very long time. And so I, I said to her that uh, I was going to tell them. So I, I, I told the appropriate people here at WOR and, and Clear Channel and I'm walking back to my car, and I, and I call her out, and I said, well, I, I told him. She goes, you told him what? <laughs> I said, I told him I'm retiring. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving as of Dece December 20th. She goes, what? <laughs> what? She, <laughs> she goes, you did what? <clears throat> she goes, I never thought you'd do it. <laughs> I know we've been talking about it, and I know you've wanted to do it for some time. I never thought that you would actually do it. And, uh, well, I, well, I did. And the next day, the program director, uh, Tom Cuddy, says to me, so how'd you sleep last night? I said, what do you mean? I said, I slept like a baby. He goes, well, a lot of people change their, you know, have, have uncomfortable, you know, uh, nights the night after making decisions like this. And, uh, and I think the point that I'm trying to make here is that I don't. Um, I have no regrets. This so is it's nice be... to control your own destiny, isn't it? It is. It really is. It, it really is. Because most of the time in most of our lives, we do not have that opportunity. Our, our lives are controlled by larger entities. And um, I, have, I, I, I think I ha I've made it possible uh, that um, whatever happens over the course of the, the rest of my life, that, that we'll be comfortable and, and uh, we'll be able to do with the things we want to do and with the people we want to do them with. And 
um, off we go. Well, I wish you the very best of luck. I'm very envious, obviously. I've spent all of my career associated with gamblings in the morning. Hmm. I mean, I started with your dad, and then we, you know, we transitioned through you and it's it's like going to be adjustment not having a gambling to work with in the morning. Well, it'll be the first time in uh, 88 years that there will not be a gambling in uh, on New York yeah. radio. It's it's an extraordinary and uh, imp- uh, I'm not sure it's insurmountable, but it is a record that I suspect is going to stand uh, if not forever for a very long time. It's it's just an industry and families and and this and the like. Uh, people have asked me, uh, "Is there another? Is there another John Gambling?" Well, there are actually three John Gamblings, uh, but none of them. Those are my boys. Uh, all of their middle names are John. Just in case. Andrew, Andrew, <laughs> William, uh, and Bradley, and um, they've all decided to go in different directions, uh, which is perfectly fine by me. I have no 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 issues with that whatsoever. What's the first thing you're going to do when you don't have to wake up at two o'clock? Continue sleeping. Sleep, but I, <laughs> sleep, sleep till nine. Uh, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's not hard. Sleep till nine.